Dividend investing is a long-term strategy. It can often take many years to see the compounding effect of reinvesting earned dividends. However, once the snowball effect is rolling, it can be very impressive. Today, I'm going to share the latest example from my own portfolio of this compounding at work. My name is Zach, this is Dividend Data, and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. Now, in my own long-term dividend stock portfolio, I just got paid a massive dividend payment. In fact, my largest ever from an individual stock. I earned $515.75 from the Altria Group, ticker symbol MO. This has all been reinvested, earning me another 11 shares in the company. Altria stock pays an annual dividend of $3.92 per share, so that's another $43 of annual dividends from reinvesting earned dividends. And this is what we call the snowball effect. Every time you reinvest dividends, you increase your ownership stake in assets, giving you even more dividends to reinvest a larger amount in the future, allowing you to buy even more shares, creating a virtuous cycle where you continue to compound over time. For example, my Altria stock is a great example. This is a position that I've been building up for a number of years, and I have 73.25 shares from reinvesting dividends. So that's another $287.14 of annual dividend income. On top of that, that's nearly $3,500 of value since the price of Altria is $47 per share. And so far, this reinvesting dividends is a huge part of my total return for Altria stock. So excluding reinvested dividends, my yield on cost is 9.14%. But from these additional 73 shares, my actual yield on cost is more like 10.58%. And this is a measurement of the snowball effect, the impact of these reinvested dividends. And my Altria stock position Position is something that will continue to compound whether or not I add new money or if the stock price even goes through a lull for a number of years. I just got paid $515 and my next Altria projected dividend is $526. That's just from the reinvestment of dividends. And this happens every single quarter. However, that is only just one part of the dividend snowball. Ideally, you are investing into stocks where they continue to grow as well. That means growth of earnings per share, free cash flow, and dividends. So for example, Altria is actually a dividend growth stock as well. The dividend is growing at a 4.45% percent three-year compound annual growth rate. So that means on top of the high yield and dividend reinvestment, you will still be getting dividend growth. This only adds to the dividend snowball. And if we look more broadly at Altria, I would say it's my top high yield dividend growth stock. The company trades at a cheap valuation with slow, reliable growth in earnings per share. Even after this recent rally, you're still getting an 8.33% dividend yield. Now I was buying more at a nine to 10% yield, which I would greatly prefer, but I don't think it's a bad deal at all at current prices. Now, an important point here is do not chase the stock if it does get to higher prices, mostly because it is a slow growth company. It's a reliable slow growth company, but they do face many risk factors such as the decline of cigarettes in terms of volume, which is one of their main business segments. Altria's free cash flow per share is growing at 3.44% five-year compound annual growth rate. The company has given forward guidance that they're expecting low single-digit dividend growth into the future. That is in line with recent years. And despite the high yield, the dividend payment is financially sustainable at a 75% free cash flow based payout ratio. So the company does generate more than enough cash to continue paying out shareholders at this rate. In fact, it will likely continue to slowly grow. On top of dividends, they do repurchase shares as well. The shares outstanding are consistently declining. And with Altria, I actually do think it's possible to get a pretty good long-term total return with this high yield stock. Even though my portfolio is generally weighted more towards lower yield, higher growth stocks like my Microsoft and Visa, I still think Altria can have a great place in a long-term dividend stock portfolio. I feel very comfortable with my position and I can see it continue to work. And it's starting to get to the phase where I see the dividend snowball in action. It's really rolling. This amount earned from dividends will only keep growing and growing even if I don't add any money to it. But then again, if Altria is at a great deal, I might continue to add to it too. So that's a pretty quick update on Altria stock and my dividend portfolio. I've been pretty busy this week trying to work on some website development which I'm excited to share with you. So I'll likely be discussing that in next week's video. And if you want to support the channel, use my stock research tool, look at my portfolio live with new buys coming in, then I really recommend you sign up for DividendData.com. Link in the description and pinned comment. And thanks for watching. See you next time.